Hey guys, Crystal here with Crystal's Crafties. Uh, today I just want to show you how to make the knockouts in the new updated Cricut Design Space. Um, a couple months ago Cricut made some updates and some things moved around and changed up and I just wanted to do an updated video on how to make these knockouts. Um, at the end of the video I'll show you how I filled the word mom with this little flower print. But for now I'm going to hide this and we're going to get started. Okay, so I had my background blue just so that you guys could see the floral print. I'm going to put it back to white. What you want to do here is come to your blank canvas, click this, come up here to your color box, and make it whatever color you want, but for this we're going to do white. Um, that's probably what you guys are used to. And I'm going to start with my background word. Since this is a mom knockout, my background word is mom. And you want to make sure that um, it is in all caps. These work best with all caps. It needs to be a font that is bold and thick. So I like to use the Cake Basics font. This font is free with Cricut Access. Um, if you don't have access, just click the little link in the blog post and you can get it. It's awesome. I suggest that you do. Okay. So for this project, I like to have each layer a different color so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn the mom to a blue. So I'm going to come up here to line type in this little box right here. I'm going to make it blue. Okay, the next thing we want to do is add in the kids' names. I believe for this we had Ashley and Logan. Oh, Ashley is not spelled right. There we go, Ashley and Logan. And the font that I used for this is the Marisha font from uh, Creative Fabrica. I have a subscription, so I get unlimited font downloads, as many as I want, and they all include this commercial license. Um, guys, that is so important. If you are making items to sell, you have to have the commercial license to legally sell that item. If you don't, you are risking trademark infringement, copyright infringement, lawsuits, headaches. Don't do it. If you're getting your fonts from free sites like defont.com, almost all of them are for personal use only, and you could get into a lot of trouble selling those products. So make sure you're buying your fonts and um, getting that commercial license. Um, this one is $12 from Creative Fabrica and I will link to that. Or if you want to get the membership, like I said, it's $19 a month and you can get unlimited font downloads from like thousands and thousands of fonts and they all come with this commercial license. And another really cool thing about Creative Fabrica is you can search for these crafter friendly fonts and you can see they integrate well with Cricut Design Space. So I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we're going to go make our word this Marisha font. So I'm going to come up here, Marisha. Oops, there it is. Okay, it needs a little, a little manipulating. Um, the easiest way to get your words to connect is to come to your letter space, take it to a zero. That's going to bring them a lot closer, but they're still not close enough. So I'm just going to keep lowering that down till I get them where I want them. Okay, that's pretty good, but it still is going to need some work because my Y for Ashley is way over here. My L-O-G, that's all disconnected. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to ungroup everything. And I'm going to manipulate the letters one at a time. I'm going to pull the L in, the E the Y. Then I'm going to pull the O, the G, I need to get my O to move a little bit more over here. Okay, A and N. Okay, now I'm going to attach each word. Attach, attach, attach. 
And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can move the words around and get everything spaced out just the way I want it. Okay. When you've got it looking the way you want, actually I want this A to be closer. So I'm going to come detach this. Move that in. Okay. When everything looks exactly the way you want it, select all of it and weld it. Okay. Gonna just make that a little smaller. Now, this is an important step. Don't skip this step. Your word, Ashley and Logan, you have to set this to a print. To do that, come up here to fill and select print. And then it will turn, you see in your layers tab, it is now a print file. You need to make this pretty small, make it about three or four inches for the next step to work. Okay, so you've got that there. Go ahead and hit make it. We're not actually going to make it, but it's important for the next step. You can see that it wants to print this. Great, that's what we want to do. We're not actually going to print it, but you do need to have your Cricut turned on and you do need to have a printer connected to your computer. The printer doesn't have to work, it doesn't have to have ink, but it does have to be connected. Okay, hit continue and hit send to printer. Trust me, I'm not crazy. This is what you want to do. You need to make sure that this bleed is turned on. Super, 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 super important. The bleed has to be on or this will not work. Now come up here, right click your design, save picture as. I'm going to save it as blob two because I've already done this once. Okay, and now you can close out. Close that, cancel your cut. Yep, I want to cancel my cut. Okay, go get that blob you just saved. Upload an image, browse, blob two, open, there it is. Okay, I'm going to save this as a simple image, continue, make it bigger, get rid of all this other stuff. You're going to see these lines here. You can double click and try to get them to go away. Um, if it doesn't work that easily for you, you can take your eraser and get them to go away like that. Uh, don't erase any of this middle stuff here in between your letters. Just leave it like it is and hit continue. You want to make sure to save it as a cut image. That's also really important because that's the way you get your knockout. Here it is. I'm going to insert it into my design. Okay. Now, I can make everything bigger again so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take my blob down here. Let's make it yellow. Let's take my word here. Uh, you want it to be in front so you can see the placement very well. Um, come up to arrange, send to front. Okay. Again, I want all of this bigger. Big, 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 so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now you start playing with it and putting it in here where it goes. You just resize it until everything fits. What you're looking for is every end point to be covered. The N is covered. The bottom of the G is covered. The bottom of the Y is covered. The overside of the A covered. Everything is covered so we know that we're good to go. Group these together. You need them to stay the same size no matter what you do. And then bring it up here and start playing with your placement. You want to line it up. Let's see if I can make this bigger for you. Okay, line it up so that you don't have any teeny tiny pieces of your knockout. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry about that. What I mean by teeny tiny pieces is you see this little piece of blue right here? You don't want to cut out that tiny piece. You'd rather just cover it up. So move that over. 
but that caused a problem. It's going to leave a little tiny piece right here. So maybe move it up, over, down, I don't know. Play with it until you get it to where you don't have any little teeny tiny pieces. The reason for that is you're probably going to lose them in your cut. I think that's going to work well. Now, I need to ungroup this thing that I have going here. I need to pull this out. And then I'm just going to slice my background word and my blob layer. Select them both and slice. Now I can get rid of all this stuff I don't need. Okay. I'm going to take my word, pull it back up into here, position it exactly where I want it. Okay, guys, that's, that's perfect. That's what you want to do. I'm going to um, take my word and put it back to a cut file. Make sure you do that. Come back up here. Instead of print, you're going to put no fill, and it's going to turn back into a cut so that you can cut each of these out as you want. Um, you know, resize it to however big you want. If you're making a t-shirt, you probably want this to be about seven inches. You know, play with it however you want. But that's it, you're pretty much done. Oh, you need your established part. You can just get your text here. You can put it in whatever font you want that in. I'm going to put it back to the cake basics. And line that up however you want it there. So that's there. Um, okay, how I filled my mom with the pattern. Let me show you how I did that. So I'm going to select the mom. And I'm going to come over here to fill. And I'm going to hit print. And then I'm going to come to the color box. And instead of filling it with a solid color, I'm going to fill it with a pattern. I already have this floral pattern uploaded. I click that. Voila. It is now filled with the same pattern. Let's see. Make this pink. Make this word pink. Um, I'm going to set all this to print also. Let me just show you why. Oh, it got rid of my pattern. Hold on, let me get that back. Um, the reason I set it all to print is if you are making a design proof for a customer to see, it's just prettier to have you know, the print file rather than the cut file that has the little outline around it. So set it all to print, take a picture, send it to your customer, make it, whatever you want. That's how you make a knockout in the new Cricut Design Space. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks, guys.